Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can unlock Zelda's personal horse permanently, my dude. It is so cool having a horse you could call in anytime. Today, I'm going to walk it through you step by step so you know what to do. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, you can pick up the side quest called Impa's Gift. This is the quest that will lead you to get Zelda's permanent horse. Now, in order to pick up the side quest, you need to save Hyrule Castle first from the rift. After you finish doing that, you can speak to Impa and pick up the side quest. The first initial part of the side quest, you need to head over here to the ranch and speak with this girl. She'll tell you that your horse isn't here, but there is a solution. Look at the map. You need to come over here and open up your adventure log under Impa's gift. They pretty much point you in the right direction. It's just due south of the mysterious forest. Now, once you're over here, you'll be able to create this rift and you need to unseal the rift yet again, but this time in the carrot patch. So make your way over to the carrot patch and now we have to unseal this rift. There's gonna be four different things we need to grab, right? I'm gonna mark them right over here on the map. The first two are gonna be behind two boxes, right? So you need to just pull back the boxes or lift them up. There's gonna be some stairs we can take down. One's gonna be behind some rocks you need to pull up. And then one's gonna be way in the air up top over here, right? So one, two, three over here and four. Do them in whatever order you want. The very first one right over here is going to be right behind this a lovely box. So this box is gonna be up on top of it, just lift it, and then come down over here, all right? From here, it's gonna be a platform. Pass them up, pull out your strangula, and come over here and jump over here. Now that you have that done, all we have to do is just make our way up and get our lovely reward. That's number one. All right, number two is gonna be just do the left of us. Right, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a box. You wanna pull back the box, pick it up, and go down the stairs. And over here, it's gonna be some different enemies we need to take out. After you finish taking out these enemies, then you'll be able to pick up the reward. And then that is going to be a, a number two. Now, number three, number four, well, there's going to be right on the side. Remember I said you can do this in any order that you want. For me, it was a little bit easier for me to get up over here on the top using the plat boom, right? And using the rocks that was already over here. Totally up to you how you want to get over here. That's all I got it. See the plat boom, use those rocks, use the plat boom, go up on top, use the keys to float on over here. That's what I did. Totally up to you, right? So you can hit that first or you can hit this one first. Totally up to you, right? So you can use the rocks and hit this one first or you can use the rocks to hit the other one that we just did. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what order you do them in, once you get all four, then you'll be able to exit the zone and you release the rift. So boom, there you have it. That is all four of these, and now it's time to get on a horse. After you finish completing the rift, you are gonna get some really cool rewards. You get a little bit of an upgrade on your power, and you're gonna get some of those, which is always good, so we can upgrade our, our weapons. From there, you're gonna exit the rift back into the carrot patch. Now the rift is going to be going, but horse is still missing. So from this part, if you look at the quest, it tells you that you need a carrot. So just use your bind ability and pull out the carrot, and then your horse will come running. And boom, there you have it. You have unlocked Zelda's permanent personal horse. But we're not done just yet. In order for you to call it at any time that you want, you need to get the echo of the carrot. So what I want you to do is hop on your horse and then you want to go a, a nice little distance away from the carrot patch because as soon as you pull it out, the horse is going to come running to it and, and it, it will eat it. So you only have a limited time before you can create an echo of it, right? So come over here, pull it out, create the echo of it. And voila, just like that, now you can call your permanent horse wherever you at. So let's go over here into the Fair and Wetlands and let's go ahead and pull out our echo of our carrot. And just like that, here comes your permanent horse running. 
and bam, we've done it. You've done it. And that is how you're going to unlock your personal permanent horse inside of Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game Florida. Why write it? Videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.